about midnight and we were just getting up uh, to make an ascent at the Zubarian's Ridge and all of a sudden I heard these sort of crashing noises and I thought, hmm, interesting sort of sound. And I looked up on the east face of Mount Cook and I saw sparks all over the place, just sort of like fireworks. And I remember thinking, ice does not make sparks. We've got something on our hands here. And I thought, oh, it's a bit of a rockfall. But then it grew and grew and grew into a real roar and I realised something big was happening. I couldn't really tell the sort of whole scale of the beast or we didn't realise at the time that it was going past uh, as close as the Hochstetter Icefall. At speed, they estimated it's about 400 kilometres per hour. If it had come just from a slightly different angle on the east face, it probably would have bowled the hut and us. It went on and on and on. And it sort of just roared like a river in the end. It was like you were camped beside a river. And of course, we sort of changed our climbing plans a little and uh, went off and climbed Mount Dixon. And when we were on the side of Dixon, we looked back and we could see a huge scar down the side of the mountain. It was right across the plateau, over the Anzac Peaks down onto the Tasman Glacier, across the Tasman Glacier, and then sprayed up onto the multi brunt Range. It was just gobstopping, really. 12,316 And one day I was down at the post office and uh, I saw this postcard. And uh, in a blinding flash, I, I decided that I knew what was happening with the rocks and that we've got a 6,000 foot block of rock sitting on top of another 6,000 foot block of rock which is making up the 12,000 foot massif. The avalanche of 1991 removed 20 meters off the top and millions of cubic meters off the side of Mount Cook, enough rubble to fill Eden Park to the top of its grandstands. Within, the giant is revealed as a stack of shattered unstable rock. And as you push from below, then it causes a steep slope on the eastern side, which will eventually fall down. It was a very beautiful, symmetric um, summit. And now I feel like something's been taken away. The avalanche removed the true summit, the climber's place of photographs and handshakes. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be on it now. There's just no room. There used to be almost a football field there to Yeah, you could wander around, around with, on, yeah. without any problem. But now it's really sharp. And the actual narrow ridge running up to it is quite spectacular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it just looks very much more difficult to me now. Well, maybe it's the years that passed, of course. Maybe <laughs> look at more difficult, yeah. It could, it could be a factor. Huh? Highest peak, yeah. Well, we've been higher than anybody. We have, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>